The first trailer for the upcoming Jake Gyllenhaal film, Demolition, has appeared online. In Demolition, Gyllenhaal <coughs> plays Davis, a successful investment banker who struggles after losing his wife in a tragic car crash. Despite pressure from his father-in-law, Phil, played by Chris Cooper, to pull it together, he continues to unravel. What starts as a complaint letter to a vending machine company turns into a series of letters revealing startling personal admissions. His letters catch the attention of customer service rep Karen, played by Naomi Watts, and amidst emotional and financial burdens of her own, the two form an unlikely connection. With the help of Karen and her son, Davis starts to rebuild, beginning with the demolition of the life he once knew. Schnepp, do you buy or sell this first trailer for demolition? I buy this. I, w I felt really emotionally in it connected to this this trailer and the uh, the the you know the the looking at a relationship and taking it apart the way after a tragedy that you might have to go through just as a coping mechanism, but also as a way to get your life back together. And it just looked really uh, it just looked really emotional, and I cannot wait to see this movie. I buy it. A huge huge buy for me. I mean, I wanted to buy it before I even saw it. When I, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal with Chris Cooper. Mm. Yeah, Gyllenhaal, understandably, is going to be the name a lot of people focus on here, but with Chris Cooper. And then, uh, then you throw in the always reliable Naomi Watch. That's great mm. too. But it had that hook. You know, like talking about Born, the first Born movie. Some Russian freighter finds a guy floating in the middle of the ocean with no idea who he is. Hook. As he's reading that, as he's reading off the letter that he's writing, you know, the M and M's didn't come out. I found this very upsetting. As ten minutes earlier, my wife had died. I'm like, whoa, wait, right, what? Right. It was, and it didn't come across as campy or cheesy. No. It had that emotional impact that you wanted. I sat back and was like, I, I got to see this, and I'm dying to see the relationship between the characters, how that works. Jalen Hall is on such a roll, delivering such great performance. I wasn't a big fan of Southpaw, but the performance he brought was still amazing. I'm really looking forward to this trailer got me hooked. I'm in. It's a buy. Can we just get away from giving away what happens to Jake Gyllenhaal's spouses in movie <laughs> trailers? It, it, I don't like this trend, but for whatever reason in Demolition, it's a buy for me because it didn't feel like it ruined the movie. It actually felt like now I'm more sucked into this film and I'm wrapped up in what this guy's going to have to go through. The, the, the relationship between him and Chris Cooper is going to be fascinating to me. Yeah. Because the way that they either drift apart or come back together, what he decides to do with his life from this tragedy going forward, the way that the trailer exposed mm. you what this movie was about, where you, you don't know if it's, it's just a lighthearted comedy, what, what, I, why is this movie named Demolition? And then that gut punch of what happened, it just, it really hooked me as a viewer. And then it started, you know, you start thinking, you watch this and you're like, this could be Gyllenhaal yet again being a runner up to somebody else because we all know Leo's <laughs> winning for the revenue. We all know that's going to happen, right? Let's see if he at least gets a nomination this I year. I think I it, 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 it's a kind of subject matter that would get somebody nominated, I think. Yeah, this movie especially cuz it's just showing you like just to pay attention to life. That's like these these movies that come out and they like just give you something back like mm -hmm. emotionally. That's why I'm really excited about it.